In this video I'm going to show you how to do subtraction with regrouping. So here's a question which is a common sort of question for this operation. We have 54 and we're taking away 39 and we can see and you'll remember that the 54 is made up of 5 tens and 4 ones and the 39 is 3 tens and 9 ones. So I'm going to show you with some uh, base 10 blocks and then I'll show you how to do it with the, uh, the written process. So here we have, now these are special magnetic base 10 blocks, so you may have base 10 blocks in your classroom which your teacher may let you use for doing questions like this. These are just special magnetic ones for the teacher so we can stick them on the board. So I'll make a little bit more space. We'll always put the tens on the left hand side because that's where they are when we write them down. Here are my ones, and you can see that's 54, five tens and four ones. Now, notice that when we're doing subtraction, we don't put out the second number as well, because this number we're going to be taking away from the 54. So from here, we'll take away 39. If we're doing addition, we would put both sets of numbers and then add them all together, and I'm sure you've done that um, already in your maths classes. All right, so 54 take away 39. Where are we going to start? Now, if we're just looking at the blocks, we could say, well, I could take away 3 straight away because that's my 3 tenths. But because of the way we do this in writing, we always start with the 1's place or the 1's column. So we're going to take away 9. Here are the 1's. Can we take 9 away? And of course, the answer is... No, because there are only 4 and 9 is bigger than 4. So where can we get some more 1's from? Now we're not allowed to take them from down here because this is the number we're starting with. So the only way we can do it is to do a swap or a trade of this 10 for some extra 1's. Now how many 1's would this be worth? Of course it's 10 1's. So we'll, I'll just move this down here and I'll put another 10 1's here. And I'm going to put them in a long vertical strip like this, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, so that it looks a bit like the 10 that was there before. I hope you can see this is the same lot of 10 that was there before, I've just changed them. We use other words for that, sometimes we call it trading or regrouping or making and breaking 10. So I've really just broken a 10 and now I've made a whole lot more ones and I don't have so many 10s. So, how many tens do I have now? Well, obviously I have four tens. I did have five, but now I've got four. And how many ones do I have? I had four there before, they're still there, and now there's another ten, so that's actually fourteen ones. Now, my question before we go any further is, what is that equal to? Four tens and fourteen ones is equal to what? Of course the answer is fifty-four, so we still have the same number, we've just rearranged some of the, the parts. Now we can do our takeaway. I'm sure you can see how easy it is now that we've done that trading or regrouping. And that's this. that was the most difficult part of the whole question. So now we're taking away 9, so it doesn't matter which 9 I take away, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. How many are left? Could you do that without counting? That would be something you could do in your head as a number fact. If we had 14, remember, and we're taking away 9, there will be 5 left. And now we're going to take away 3 10s. There we go. And of course there's 1 10 left. There is our answer. What is the answer? The answer is 15. Let me show you with the written, what we call algorithm, the process that we use that you write down in your math book or on a whiteboard or a chalkboard or something like that. So we start again, we, so imagine we've got, I won't do all the blocks again, but you can remember what that looked like. We have 54 take away 39, we're going to start with the 1's, we have 4 1's and we're taking away 9, is that enough? No it's not, 4 is too small to take 9, but we can regroup. We regroup from the 10, remember we took a 10 and broke it up into 1, so we cross out the 10's because now we only have 4 10's left, so this number here will always be 1 less than that number. We take one of the tens and break it up. And what do we do with that ten? 
you'll remember we made it up into 10 ones. That 10 ones gets added to the 4 ones to make 14. So we write a little 1 there and now you can see it says 14. As I said before, that's the hardest part of the question. Now it's a matter of recalling number facts and working out the answer. So 14 ones take away 9 ones, of course that's 5 ones, and 4 tens take away 3 tens is 1 ten. What's the answer? The answer is 15 and that's what that shows there. Okay, so now that you've seen that you should be able to do some more of these on your own. The only thing that I would ask you to remember when you're doing these is when you first start look and see whether you need to do regrouping because not every question um, requires that you do that. Okay, that's it.